we move on to the next question that is asked in 2012 spheres of iron and lead having same mass are completely immersed in water density of lead is more than that of iron apparent loss of weight is wo1 for iron sphere and wo2 for lead sphere then what will be the ratio of apparent loss of weight of the iron to the weight of the lead they are asking now this is also based on the archimedes principle that is when an object placed in water or any liquid there exerts a up thrust so that yavaga ondu body mele up thrust act agutho avaga adrudu weight loss agutte that weight can be calculated by another formula is loss of weight is equal to the up thrust that up thrust can be calculated by the formula that is volume of the object submerged into density of the liquid into acceleration due to gravity ige enagide andre ee lead sphere matte ಐರನ್ ಸ್ಪಿಯರ್ ಎರಡೂ ಕೂಡ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಇಮ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಇಮ್ಮರ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಮರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಡೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಜಿ ಈಗ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ for w1 another thing they are given density of the liquid is greater than sorry this is lead density of the lead is greater than density of the iron first one loss in weight of the iron to the loss in weight of the lead is equal to volume of the object that is object is iron into density of the liquid into acceleration due to gravity divided by volume of the lead into density of the liquid into g these thing get cancel out that is nothing but vi that is volume of the iron to the volume of the lead but question nalli volume of the iron matha volume of the lead na kotilla question nalli one more condition they are given they having a same mass anta kotidare so for same mass same mass we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume therefore volume is equal to mass divided by density for same mass volume of the object is di inversely proportional to the density so volume of the iron to the volume of the lead is inversely proportional so that density of the lead to the density of the iron if you substitute here density of the lead to the density of the iron the condition they are given density of the lead is greater than the density of the iron idu jaasti ide idu kadme ide so that this ratio is greater than 1 aagagi option answer for the given question is greater than 1 illi yava concept na nav use madidivi andre loss in weight of the object that is equal to the up thrust yava object ya up thrust jaasti irutho aa object ina weight enagutte jaasti loss agutte one more thing here is how to calculate the apparent weight of the object in liquid namige gottide yavde ondu object na liquid alli place maadadaga there are two forces act on the object that is one force will be the m into g that is nothing but the actual weight another will be the up thrust that is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced so that apparent weight can be calculated by apparent weight of the object in liquid is equal to true weight true weight that is the weight measured in air that is m into g minus up thrust up thrust is also called as a buoyant force so that true weight is nothing but m into g up thrust we know that volume of the liquid submerged density of the liquid into acceleration due to gravity true weight can also be written as mass is nothing but volume of the object into density of the object into acceleration due to gravity this is volume of the submerged into density of the liquid into g this is the apparent weight of the object in liquid we can use this formula to calculate the apparent weight of the object in liquid for example if the object is completely immersed it is partially immersed if it is completely immersed the volume of the submerged object is taken as volume of the submerged object is equal to volume of the object. so that apparent weight of the object in liquid is equal to v not rho not into g minus v not rho l into g 
if you take v naught rho naught g s common 1 minus v naught rho na rho l into g divided by v naught rho naught into g v naught g v naught g get cancelled out remaining will be v naught rho naught g into 1 minus density of the liquid divided by density of the object so apparent weight of the object in liquid is equal to, this is nothing but the true weight that is true weight v naught rho naught g true weight can be represented by w into 1 minus rho l divided by rho naught this is very famous equation to calculate the apparent weight of an object that is placed in liquid w times the 1 minus density of the liquid into density of the object we can use this formula to calculate the acceleration due to gravity also apparent weight can be written as mass into acceleration due to gravity that is g dash that is equal to mass into g 1 minus rho l divided by rho naught m g g m m get cancelled out so that acceleration due to gravity is equal to g into 1 minus rho l divided by rho naught so when an object is placed in liquid that acceleration due to gravity that object is varies as g times 1 minus density of the liquid to the density of the object next question that is asked in 2011 eight equal drops of water are falling through air with a steady velocity of 10 centimeter per second if the drop combines to form a single drop big in size then terminal velocity of this bigger drop and the kelidre now the alien concept is one the terminal velocity and the end of the other is the terminal velocity size mele or it depend on the other good agribe now the terminal velocity and a constant velocity acquired by a body when it freely fall through a fluid that is the fluid is the viscous medium agribe okay that terminal velocity is given by 2 by 9 times of r square g divided by eta times rho minus sigma illi r andre radius of the this spherical body g is the acceleration due to gravity eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the medium rho is the density of the spherical body and sigma is the density of the liquid this is the formula to calculate the terminal velocity illi yen concept na kelidara andre 8 liquid drops ide avella combine aagibittu ondu bigger drop agutte aagagi ee 8 liquid drops ina volume esti irutho aste volume bigger drop ige barbeku yakandre navu 8 drops ige radius na calculate maadbekadre bigger drop ina radius kuda navu calculate maadbekagutte so that volume of this 8 liquid drops that is volume of a spherical body here 4 by 3 pi r cube i will take radius of the each spherical body that is the drop of the liquid is r that is equal to volume of the bigger sphere that is 4 by 3 pi r cube idru the estu volume iruttho ivella unu sum maadadaga namige aste volume barbeku 8 drops ide agagi each drop having a volume of 4 by 3 pi r cube so that 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r so by 4 by 3 get cancel out 8 times r cube is equal to capital r cube so that r is equal to 8 r cube to the power of 1 by 3 so r is equal to uh, 8 can be written as 2 cube into r cube to the power of 1 divided by 3 so that uh, radius of the bigger drop is equal to 2 times the radius of the smaller drop we got the relation between radius of the bigger drop and the radius of the smaller drop so we can substitute here velocity terminal velocity see acceleration due to gravity is constant eta that is coefficient of viscosity is also constant density of the spherical body density of the liquid is also constant so that terminal velocity is directly proportional to the radius square first now smaller drop next we can take to the bigger drop so they are asking what will be the velocity of the bigger drop velocity of the bigger drop is equal to divided by velocity of the smaller drop is directly proportional to the radius so that radius of the bigger drop divided by radius of the smaller drop radius of the smaller drop i took small r square so r 
radius of the bigger drop, radius of the smaller drop, whole square. Velocity of the bigger drop is equal to radius of the bigger drop divided by radius of the smaller drop whole square into velocity of the smaller drop. So, radius of the bigger drop is 2 times the r. So, 2 times the radius of the smaller drop divided by radius of the smaller drop to the power of 2 into velocity of the smaller drop. If you substitute here, radius radius get cancelled out. 2 square is 4. So, that velocity of the bigger drop is 4 times velocity of the smaller drop. Velocity of the smaller drop they are given 10 centimeters per second centimeter per second 4 into 10 so that 40 centimeter per second. This is the concept regarding the terminal velocity that is the formula in here g eta rho and sigma all are constant those constants are eliminated. Yakandra ratio to Gondaga, you will cancel Agatha. Ili ain't different today, radius matra different today, the calculate mark on it. Not either formula and a bigger than a yen at dropping of Kuda Remarko. For example, a eight badlo, yen drop on the Kelly, this is n, this is also n, this is n, n to the power of one by three. This is the radius of the bigger drop if there are n number of drops are given. Next question, that question also asked in the same year, two thousand eleven. Two capillary tubes of different diameter are dipped in water. The rise of the water. Rise of the water through a capillary tube is depends on what factor and the calidare. Uh, this is the water container, this is the capillary tube. When the capillary tube is dipped in the water, there is a rise of the water through the capillary tube. That rise of the water through the capillary tube, that is called it as a capillary rise, is given by 2t cos theta divided by rho g r. Here, T is the surface tension of the liquid, theta is the angle of contact, rho is the density of the liquid, G is the acceleration due to gravity, R is the radius of this capillary tube. So that rise of the liquid through the capillary tube is inversely proportional to the radius. If the radius will be more, the rise will be less. If the diameter will be more, rise will be less. Question I'll kill it the same in both the lube. This is wrong. Greater in the tube of larger diameter. This is also wrong. Greater in the tube of smaller diameter. If the diameter is smaller, the rise of the liquid through the capillary tube is more. This is the answer for the given question. Next question asked in 2010. Three liquids of equal masses are taken in three identical cubical vessels A, B and C. Their densities are given by rho A, rho B and rho C. They are given the condition rho A is less than rho B is less than rho C. The force exerted by the liquid on the base of the cubical vessel is. They are given four options. Is it is same in all the vessels or maximum in A, C and D or B. Now, our Kelita Kantado, what is the force exerted on the base of the container? E liquid do idrumel at Martha Kanta force, that is the weight m into g. Here also m into g. Here also m into g. This is mass of A, mass of the B and mass of the C. In the question they are given mass of all the three liquids that is mass of A is equal to B is equal to C. Acceleration due to gravity is same. So that force exerted by A is equal to force exerted by B is equal to force exerted by C. So that all the liquids exert same force on the base of the container A, B and C. So, that the option is this is same in all the vessels. We move on to the next question asked in the same year 2010. Water in the streamline flow along a horizontal pipe with uniform cross section. At a point in the pipe where the area of cross section is 10 cm square, the velocity of the water is 1 meter per second and the pressure at this point is 2000 Pascal. The pressure at another point where the area of cross section is 5 cm square and they are Now, in the point, this is the first point, this is the second point. They are given in this point, the pressure is 2000, velocity is 1 meter per second and area of cross section is 10 cm square. That e point, this is the pressure and they are According to continuity equation, the product of area of cross section into velocity at each and every point along the streamline is same. So that a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2. We need the velocity v2 is equal to a1 v1 divided by a2. 
a1 is they are given a1 is 10 v1 is 1 divided by a2 is 5 so that velocity at the point 2 is 2 meter per second namige velocity sikkagide ee point alli velocity jaasti irodrinda pressure enagirbeku aa point alli kadme barbeku nodi yava option alli pressure kadme ide namige eradu options ide pressure 100 matte sorry 1000 and 500 ee eradralli ond option irbeku because velocity is inversely proportional to pressure elli velocity jaasti irutho alli pressure enagirutte thumba kadme irutte nodi iga velocity ge matte pressure ge relation irthakkantadu according to bernalis theorem Bernalis theorem is the sum of pressure energy, kinetic energy and potential energy along the streamline is constant. And then, if you point the energy na measure the total energy, it is always constant. Anta. Bernalis theorem is So that Bernalis theorem is based on the conservation of energy. Now, I will apply this point to this point. Ali Bernalis theorem na apply to this point. This point is Bernalis theorem. Ho, P1 plus of rho v1 square velocity this is density of the liquid density of the liquid yalla adralu same ide because we are took water plus rho g i it nodi along the horizontal idu horizontal irodrinda ella point allu i it enagirutte same irutte so that h is equal to at second point alli nan apply martini pressure is difference p2 plus of into rho v2 square plus rho g h2 you can take h1 or h2 no problem nodi horizontal pipe agirodrinda i same agide i same ide andre potential energy same irutte i t enadru different idre for example a ee riti enadru idre pipe i t enaitu different aitu nodi ee height bere ee height bere agage i t avag different agutho avaga potential energy change agutte horizontal pipe agirodrinda i t same so that potential energy is same so that potential energy get cancel out we need p1 is 2000 they are given 2000 plus half into density of the water we know it 1000 in si unit into velocity is 1 square is equal to p2 plus half into 1000 into v2 v2 already calculate 2 square is 4 2 1s are 2 2 are so that 2000 plus 2 1s are 2 uh, 5 are so that 500 is equal to p2 plus this is 2000 so we can get see here also 2000 here also 2000 2000 2000 get cancel out pressure at a point 2 is given 500 pascal this is the concept regarding the question nodi area matto velocity na matra link maad bekadre now continuity equation toko beko a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 velocity go matte uh, pressure go link maad bekadre now bernalis theorem toko beko this is the bernalis theorem yavaga horizontal kodda inge i to different kodda aga potential energy ke h1 matte h2 anta toko beko ili horizontal kodda irao dhri inda h1 is equal to h2 agathe potential energy yalla pa intalo same irathe so that answer for the question is 500 pascal